So seed pots were used by indigenous cultures all over the world. They're actually just one of those human inventions. And essentially they're ceramic pots uh, with a very tiny hole at the top to deposit seeds in. But the other beautiful thing about them is because they're ceramic, there were also traditions where at spring and at um, time to plant, they would be smashed, releasing all of the seeds. And it was sort of a also very old human thing where we break things to kind of dispel, you know, forces and bring about change and renewal. So that's how I connect it to the trail where people are every day renewing themselves by taking a walk or a ride. The area that I chose, which was right under the trees, felt like a very transitional space. And later on, I found out it's actually the very heart of the trail. What I really wanted to connect is people in the present to something more rooted in the past tradition and history of this particular area. I started looking at the way that indigenous people used to trade and the pots um, really lent themselves well to being like a pendulum. And then the patterns were just something that I was really attracted to visually. I think of renewal as something that happens on a very small scale every day. For me, the idea of seeding the path came from these seed pots and the promise of futures to come. I connected it to the idea of what people do when they step out into nature and when they engage with their physical bodies. And I think that all of us have that experience that when we get out into the wind and the air and the sunlight, we connect to the most kind of primordial parts of ourselves. My hope and my goal was for it to be an element of magic or surprise because I feel like when you encounter something unexpected or new, it allows us to wonder and just have this kind of momentary sort of, aha, you know, surprise. Uh, and, and that's something that I, I like um, when I take walks. When you're on this path, we're all carrying sort of like the potential seed for daily renewal and regeneration and healing light and, and especially with all the things that we've recently gone through, I feel like that's something we can all relate to.